Uh, what we have in the lathe here today is a rough casting for a piston for a, so this one's gonna be a 1912-1530 Rumley. This one, the cylinder has already been bored out to a 10 and an eighth. So this is, we're gonna turn it down. We're gonna go with the narrower rings, a half inch ring, because the rings will come from Niagara. A lot easier to get a half inch ring than it is the original 5 eighths. This casting was done in Webster, South Dakota. They already had a pattern down for the Rumley pistons down there. Corey Anderson was nice enough to cast me up a couple of them. So we we actually bored out several of these blocks for up in, up in Canada here. And uh, this one, the piston pin has already been case hard and ready to go. And hopefully in a couple of years, this tractor will run. So here we are, we have uh, cut it down to 10 and a quarter inches, uh, just a rough cut. We're just measuring it with the uh, calipers. And we still got to go uh, 100 thousandths of an inch still. Uh, then we'll do a final cut on it. So here's the uh, piston uh, we're making for the Rumley. Uh, the final cut's been done. It just needs to be polished. Uh, still needs to be faced a little bit here. We'll take a cut and we'll be measuring uh, for the ring grooves. Doing those, uh, the back needs to just be cut off a little bit. And then once that's done, we'll be line boring uh, the hole, uh, both sides apparently are different uh, diameters, so that's going to be uh, fun. And then we'll be also cutting a keyway in here using a uh, different piece of machinery, and we'll show you that in upcoming days. So here's the piston. It's uh, been turned down. The it's been faced to get the right uh, depth. It's been blue dye chemicaled uh, and then marked for four rings up top, one ring on the back. Uh, we're going to get ready to cut the rings and we'll show you how to do that.
I have finished grooving out the piston groove for the piston rings and they're all done to the final size of half an inch. I usually go about 20,000 undersize and then I use gauge block to get my final size. And the next thing to do is to relieve the piston for expansion. For example, I just said 20,000 off here, then 15, and then 10, and then five, and then just leave the piston at final size. That way when it heats up, it won't pinch the rings and spoil your cylinder.